okay in this lecture i want to solve a problem in this problem we have to find out we have to find the fourier transform for this function for this function we have to find out the fourier transform after that by using that we have to evaluate these two integral values okay here yeah, the given function is f of x equal to 1 minus x square if mod x less than or equal to 1 0 if mod x greater than 1 before solving the problem first we have to understand the limits of this problem here yeah, the limits are mod x less than or equal to 1 mod x greater than 1 mod x less than or equal to 1 mod x greater than 1 means uh, see this mod x means uh, suppose if we are x are x we are taking x value positive or negative the result is positive so first condition mod x less than 1 first i am taking the mod x less than 1 the limits suppose x is positive then mod x equal to x so x less than 1 that is the first one x value less than 0 then mod x is nothing but minus x so minus x less than 1 multiplying with negative sign on both sides x greater than minus 1 now x greater than minus 1 can also be written as minus 1 less than x from this minus 1 less than x this is x less than 1 so combining from 1 and 2 we can write mod x less than 1 can be written as minus 1 less than x less than 1 so mod x less than 1 is nothing but minus 1 less than x less than 1 these are the limits now coming to the second one mod x greater than 1 suppose in case if x greater than 0 then mod x is nothing but x so x greater than 1 x greater than 1 means the limits are 1 to infinity so 1 less than x less than infinity i am writing the second one if x is less than 0 that is x is negative then mod x is nothing but minus x minus x less than 1 minus x less than 1 means multiplying with negative sign x greater than minus 1 so the limits are x greater than minus 1 can also be written as minus infinity less than x less than 1 that means finally we are getting the limits as mod x less than 1 is nothing but minus 1 less than x less than 1 mod x greater than 1 we have two intervals the first interval is minus 1 less than x less than infinity the second interval is minus infinity less than x less than 1 now we have to, now coming to the problem in this problem this is the given problem first i am writing the function given that f of x equal to 1 minus x square mod x less than or equal to 1 means minus 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 0 0 means here x greater than 1 mod x greater than 1 mod x greater than 1 means already we discussed that is minus infinity less than x less than minus 1 is the one interval 1 less than x less than infinity in these two intervals the function value is 0 now i am representing in a real line these limits so minus 1 to 1 the function value f of x equal to 1 minus x square in the interval 1 to infinity f of x value is 0 in the interval minus infinity to minus infinity to minus 1 f of the function value f of x equal to 0 okay now let us solve the problem in this problem for this function first we have to find out the fourier transform already we know the definition of fourier transform by the definition fourier transform of f of x is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity f of x into e power isx dx this is the basic definition of the fourier transform fourier transform of f of x equal to integral minus infinity to infinity f of x into e power isx dx here the integration is depend, depend, depend on minus infinity to infinity but if you observe our function f of our function f of x is defined in the interval minus infinity to minus 1 minus 1 to 1 1 to infinity so i am splitting the interval into three parts minus infinity to infinity can also be written as i am writing minus infinity to minus 1 minus 1 to 1 1 to infinity minus infinity to first i am splitting this integration minus infinity to minus 1 f of x into e power isx dx plus integral minus 1 to 1 f of x into e power isx dx plus integral 1 to infinity f of x into e power isx dx in the if you observe the first integration the integration is having the limits minus infinity to minus 1 
in the interval minus infinity to minus 1 f of x value is 0 so I am replacing 0 here that is 0 into something 0 next second integration integral minus 1 to 1 in the interval minus 1 to 1 f of x value is 1 minus x square so replacing f of x equal to 1 minus x square here that is 1 minus x square into e power a s x dx plus in the interval 1 to infinity f of x value is 0 so the third integration is also vanished the only interval exists means only the second integration that is integral minus 1 to 1 yeah, 1 minus x square into e power i s x dx now we have to solve this integration if you observe this integration here 1 minus x square is a function of x e power i s x is also a function of x both are function of x and also the integration is performed with respect to x so we have to apply the uv formula while applying the uv formula here one of the function is algebraic function another function is exponential function by using i late in i late exponential comes exponential comes last uh, algebraic comes first so let us take the 1 minus x square is u and e power i x x is v already we know the formula for integral uv formula integral uv means u into v1 v1 means here integral of v minus u dash u dash means derivative of u v2 means double integral of v that is uh, two times twice we have to integrate the function with the uh, integration function v u square means second derivative of u v3 means three times integration of v like this this is the formula for integral uv formula if one of the function is algebraic function okay applying this formula u into v1 that is u means 1 minus x square into v means integral of e power i s x integral of e power i s x means uh, e power i s x by d by d x of i x x means i s minus u dash u dash means d by d x of 1 minus x square that is minus 2 x into integral of this term that is integral of e power i s x by i s d x means if e power i s x e power x by i s x by i s i s into i s means i s whole square plus d by dx of minus 2x means minus 2 into again integral of this function that is e integral of e power i s x means e power i s x by i s in the denominator already i s whole square is there so finally we are getting e power i s x by i s whole cube here the limits are minus 1 to 1 here the lower limit is minus 1 and upper limit is 1 now coming to the now substitute the limits upper limit 1 in place of x so 1 minus 1 1 square 1 square means 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 the first time is 0 now second term minus into minus plus 2 into 1 2 e power i s into 1 by i s whole square that is e power i s by my i square means minus 1 so minus is square minus plus into minus minus 2 e power i s into 1 means e power i s by i q means i square into i i square means minus 1 minus 1 into i means minus i into s q minus apply while applying the limit to the lower limit we have to multiply the negative sign so minus apply now substitute the lower limit minus 1 in place of x that is 1 minus minus 1 whole square minus 1 whole square means that is also 1 that is 1 minus 1 0 the first one is 0 minus 2 into minus 1 means minus 2 into minus 1 means plus 2 e power minus i s by i minus i i, I square s square means minus s square minus plus into 2 minus 2 minus 2 e power minus i s by i q means minus i so minus i s q now in this four terms first i am writing the first term that is minus uh, plus into minus 1 by s square means minus 2 by s square into e power i s minus into minus plus that is 2 by s cube into e power i s minus into minus plus plus into minus minus so minus 2 by s square into e power minus i s minus into minus plus plus into minus minus 2 by s cube into e power minus i s if you observe these four terms in these four terms minus 2 by s square in the minus 2 by s square exists in the first and third term so take those two, uh, two terms common in those two terms to minus 2 by s square common that is minus 2 by s square into e power i s plus e power minus i s plus from the remaining second and fourth term let us take the term 2 by i s cube taken common that is let us suppose if you are taking common 2 by i s cube here this is e power i s minus e power minus i s okay in the next step already we know the formulas for e power i s plus e power minus i s is two causes e power i s minus e power minus i s is 
2 i sin s. So, for the first term, I am going to write minus 2 by s square into e power i s plus e power minus i s means I am writing 2 cos s plus 2 by i s cube into e power i s minus e power minus i s means 2 i sin s. I am writing these 2 values. That is minus 2 into 2 means minus 4 by s square cos s. Here i will be cancelled in the numerator and denominator that is 2 into 2 4 by s cube into sin s. Here in those two terms, so suppose if you are taking common 4 by s cube minus 4 by s cube, here 4 minus 4 by s square is there, so I am writing s into cos s minus 4 by s cube is taken common, the remaining is sin s. Now this is the Fourier transform of f of x. For the given function f of x, if you are calculating the Fourier transform, we are getting the answer as minus 4 by s cube into s cos s minus sin s. In the problem, it is also given that after finding the Fourier transform of the given function, we have to find out the two integral values. For finding those two integral values, I am taking the inverse Fourier transform formula for obtaining those two integrals. Okay. The inverse Fourier transform of capital F of S. Here capital F of S means Fourier transform of F of X. Capital F of S is formula. F of X equal to 1 by 2 pi A, 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity infinity capital f of s into e power minus isx ds this is the inverse Fourier transform formula already we know this formula now in this formula i am replacing capital f of s and f of x f of x means the given function capital f of s means Fourier transform of this function i am replacing those two values that is first i am writing the right hand side 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity infinity capital f of s means minus 4 by s cube into s cos s minus sin s e power minus isx ds is equal to the given function that is 1 minus x square if minus 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 0 minus infinity less than x less than minus 1 1 less than x less than infinity now i am representing this total equation is i am numbering as equation number 1 in this equation 1 i am replacing put x equal to 1 by 2 in this equation 1. I am replacing x equal to 1 by 2. In the left hand side, suppose if you are substituting x equal to 1 by 2, that is 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity infinity minus 4 by s cube into s cos s minus sin s into e power minus i s into x means 1 by 2. So, minus i s by 2 into d s. Here x equal to 1 by 2 means 0 0.5. 0 0.5 lies in between minus 1 to 1. So, we have to uh, substitute the x, x value in the first interval, in this interval. So, 1 minus 1 by 2 whole square. 1, 1 by 2 whole square means 1 by 4. 1 minus 1 by 4 means 3 by 4. Now, in the next step, minus 4 can be taken outside of the integration. Minus 4 by 2 means minus 2 by pi. Integral minus infinity to infinity. 1 by s cube into minus 4 by 1 by s cube into s cos s minus sin s into e power minus i theta you know the formula of e power minus i theta means cos theta minus i sin theta by using this formula in place of theta here s by 2 is there replacing that cos s by 2 minus i sin s by 2 ds is equal to 3 by 4 now in the next step in the next step i am taking this minus 2 by pi here minus 2 by pi is a constant term now take this constant term right hand side here so that is minus 2 by pi can be taken right hand side that is minus 3 by 3 pi by 8 minus 3 pi by 8 okay this is integral minus infinity infinity 1 by s cube into s cos s minus sin s i am multiplying with this term so cos s by 2 first term minus i into 1 by s cube means minus i s i by s cube s cos s minus sin s into sin s by 2 ds is equal to minus 3 pi by 8 here this is the real part and this is the imaginary part. Imaginary part means here i contains this part. So this is an imaginary part. Suppose a plus i b in the form in the number a plus i b a is called real part, b is called imaginary part. So in the same way, here this is the real part and this is the imaginary part. Right hand side only minus 3 pi by 8 is there. So only real part is existing. Imaginary part means there is no imaginary part. That is method means that is 0. Now, e now in this equation, I am equating real parts on both sides this is real part and this is also real part equating real parts on both sides we are getting 
minus first real part in the left hand side like real part is integral minus infinity infinity 1 by s cube into s cos s minus sin s into cos s by 2 ds is equal to minus 3 pi by x now we are getting like this integral minus infinity infinity 1 by s cube into s cos s minus sin s into cos s by 2 ds equal to minus 3 pi by a now in the left hand side if you observe this function if you observe this function this function is even function even function mean odd function means so a function is said to be even function if f of minus is equal to f of s then that is called even function f of minus is equal to minus f of s that is called odd function if you are replacing in place of s so minus s the function value will not be changed so this is an even function okay for even function under the limits minus infinity infinity we can write this as twice integral 0 to infinity so 2 into integral 0 to infinity 1 by s cube into s cos s minus sin s into cos s by 2 ds equal to minus 3 pi by a. Now take this to right hand side that is minus 3 pi by 16. The left hand side is integral 0 to infinity 1 by s cube into s cos s minus sin s into cos s by 2 ds is equal to minus 3 pi by 16. Now for finding the first integral value I am just uh, replacing in place of s e x. Ch now changing the variable in this integration s to x. Suppose if you are changing the variable s to x, you can write integral 0 to infinity 1 by x cube into x cos x minus sin x into cos x by 2 dx is equal to minus 3 pi by 16. This is the first integral value. Okay. After this, now we are putting x equal to 0 in equation 1. Already we know the equation 1. In this equation 1, we place x equal to 0 that is 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity infinity minus 4 by s cube into s cos s minus sin s into e power 0 means 1 into ds equal to x equal to 0 lies in this interval so 1 minus 0 means 1 now i am replacing x equal to 0 in this equation we are getting 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity infinity minus 4 by s cube into s cos s minus sin s into e power minus i s into 0 ds equal to 1 minus 0 1 minus 4 can be taken outside that is minus 2 by pi into integral minus infinity to infinity s cos s minus sin s by s cube into ds equal to 1 now minus 2 by pi can be taken on right hand side we can write 1 into minus pi by 2 means minus pi by 2 integral minus infinity to infinity s cos s minus sin s by s cube ds equal to minus pi by 2 if you also if you, in this case also if you observe this integrand the integrand is, is clearly an even function Suppose that the integrand is an even function, under the limits minus infinity to infinity, we can write this as here also the integrand is an even function. So we can write the above integral as twice integral, twice integral 0 to infinity s cos x minus sin s by s cube ds is equal to minus pi by 2. 2 can be taken right hand side that is minus pi by 2 into 1 by 2 means minus pi by 4. This is integral 0 to infinity s cos s minus sin s by s cube ds equal to minus pi by 4. For getting the second integral, just I am changing the variable in this integration, I am changing the variable s to x. That is integral 0 to infinity x cos x minus sin x by x cube dx equal to minus pi by 4. This is the end of the problem.